What's up? Me Carson. All right. We gotta play P B and J. ATM to get changed for a five. Yeah, 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 sure. I think I got changed for five more years. Oh, okay, well, he's got it then. I did. So, Cornell's going, Cr Cornell's going a Falcon against Pengy, which is interesting, because I really want to see them Fox today, but... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what about Mountain Dew? What about Mountain Dew? Uh, Mountain Dew and Cheetos? Oh, dude, gross. So, Cornell, um, he, he used to play a lot. He's not, he, he stopped playing for a little while because he got hit to work and, you know, do, do some, some real nigga shit. And uh, I think he's been in Florida. He hasn't been playing that much either. Oh my God! Both of them going for the utmost, going for some super silly stuff. <laughs> but um, I really want to see the fox today. But it's really interesting. Thank is a really like once again he's a new school fox player. Yeah, it's, it's a new school fox player. He's a uh, training for dark fox. He does a lot of really cool things. Um, unfortunately, a lot of it is, involves platforms, so you don't get to see that happen. Yeah, what's up? Cornell, oh my gosh, Cornell with an amazing combo. It's pretty standard actually, because he he knows that after the first tech, if you miss the first tech, it's hard, it's hard to um hard to get the second one. So Cornell's got a pretty big lead here, but knowing Cornell, he can throw it pretty easily. He likes to go for the the utmost, do the flashy things, and just throw his lead. But, like right now, he's approaching. He really doesn't have to approach, but he's going to use his like his confidence, his bravado to try to throw Pengy off, because that's what Cornell likes to do. I think his, uh, his, his spacing game is a little bit off. Usually it's a lot tighter. And um, he actually has really good reactions because he tries to play a lot like uh, Drug Fox does. Like, like that, like going for that. He could have reacted to, to wherever he would have gone. And he's trained himself to be able to react to that kind of thing. Uh, he just did it like a dash away pivot up smash that's really difficult. Freaking Pengy. Crow's got some good offense going now. He's got the momentum um, back. Oh, Pengy does have percent, uh, center stage control. But I think he gets a good uh, drill, converts off it, and it's 1-1, it's a close game. Pro gets the grab, let's see what he can do, make off of it. Oh, he, he gets the read, and Pengy does not TI well enough, and that's the stock. So it's 1-0 Cornell. Ah, oh, I'm good. Game 2, uh, uh, Pengy p counter picks your 2 story. This is a pretty interesting stage uh, choice. Oh my goodness. It's Cron it's like Cornell's opening him up. Oh my god. Cornell almost won for the utmost and almost got it. Really good falling um, up air from Cornell to throw off uh, Pengy's understanding of Captain Falcon's timing. He keeps going for those Firefoxes. It finally gets the, the hard angle, but Cornell gets a really good stomp out of shield. Completely beats out the upfield spacing. Oh, uh, Pengy does not convert off of Cornell's mistake. <laughs> There's not a moment to breathe in this match, so I can't really talk about like the theory behind this uh, matchup on this stage. But right now, um, this is what I was what I want to talk about is the uh, the close combat where you have because you, you can't really ever be too far away from your opponent to like air them out or anything on this stage. So generally, you have to be throwing out a lot of hitboxes more often. You have to be moving around more often. You have to, to oh, Peggy SDs. But he was bringing it back. He, that could have been a clean uh, clean even stock count, but. Ram tries to help Cornell out, but Pengy just kills him. Come on. You have to play Onish. Yeah, flow. Uh, probably on the stream after this one. This, is one. this looks like it's about to be over. Cornell going for the utmost. Pengy with some really good uh, baits on the shield. Baits Cornell with shield grab. Misses the shine. But he gets another chance, th uh, thanks to Randall. And this is actually, if, uh, oh, Cornell goes for the wall jump and misses it. This is actually an even, a close match again, so it makes me wonder if Pengy hadn't killed himself, 
How close would this match be? Oh my goodness, gets the shine in between the two hits of the neutral air. He gets caught on the platform and dies, trying to, uh, when, trying to do something uh, technical. Kuno opens him up with a, an air to grab. Opens, reads him with the, the, the double jump uh, down air. That's the follow-up. I think he's firing back. He, he can do this, he definitely can do this, as long as he stops making mistakes that, were he, that basically kill himself. Wow, what a really strange combo. That weak hit of the reverse back air into an up smash. Pretty interesting. So it, it, once again, it's all about that close combat. Oh, Pengi goes for an uh, unsafe up smash on shield. Ooh. Kuno goes for the knee on the platform, almost gets it. Pengi's like, he's really sh he's shaking right now. He's not confident in his tech skill. That, that should be the game. Kuno goes for the utmost and gives him a chance to come back. Pengi goes for a quick way onto the stage read. Kuno wants to do something flashy. You just know. Get to grab. Can you do something off of it? He can't. Oh. Kuno got that shield out. Uh, stopping his momentum, make, making sure he didn't fall off. Uh, and then Kuno gets the read and 2 0 Pengi. It was a close game, though. I feel like Pengi could have won if he didn't kill himself in both games. Or, or at least, at least it could have been a lot closer.